Hey, what's going on, brother? You know, I've been thinking, actually, I've been thinking about this for a while, for several months, um, at least six months, if not longer. But, uh, you know, I've been studying the, the Bible, and I've been walking with the Lord now for almost 15 years. And, um, and I, I feel like there's some things I should share with you. Um, I think that there's a lot that I've uh, learned and, and that God has shown me um, in the last few years, especially like the last four or five years, um, that have really opened my understanding and have really changed my life in a very positive way, um, have set me free from a lot of religion, um, from a lot of misconceptions that I've had about God. And, uh, you know, I, th I think like, dude, you're my brother, man, I love you. And, uh, and I want you to know these things, right? I, I don't think it's right that, um, that I don't share them with you. Um, so what I was thinking is just starting to do little informal videos like this, right? Just, I'm just talking to you, um, whether I put them online or whatever, if other people watch them, I don't really care. Um, really, I, uh, I know who I'm talking to and you know who I'm talking to. And so um, I wanna keep them short, kind of to the point, maybe do a bunch of them, you know, um, I probably won't be able to do them every day, but I'll do them whenever I can. Um, really, I really believe that these things will encourage you. Like I said, they, they've really set my heart free in a lot of ways. Um, there's four main uh, topics I would say that, that I wanna like focus on, and then I'll branch out and, and, and talk about other things and kind of get like a holistic picture of things, but there's like four almost foundational ideas um, that, that have really changed my life. And, um, and the first one is the love of God. Um, and so I, I wanna just, I don't know, I'll just talk about that for, for a, a few videos, a bunch of videos. I don't know, we'll just see what happens here. But um, I was thinking, yeah, like something you could, you know, listen to for five, 10 minutes when you're getting ready or on your commute to work or whatever, just put the audio on or, or if you wanna do the video or whatever. But um, so love of God is, is one of them. Um, and then also the second one, I would call it like the true nature of God or what God is really like. Um, and there's a couple of other ones um, about like, uh, how would I phrase it? Like the, the difference between our spirit and our soul and, uh, and the implications of that. And then, um, and then another one. But anyway, we'll, we'll get into that another time. I think, I think the love of God has been misrepresented. Um, I think that there's a really big focus in the world um, because we live in a performance-based world and a performance-based society that, I mean, our jobs are performance-based, our school is performance-based, like you do good, you get rewarded. You do bad, you get punished, right? I mean, you break the law, you go to jail, right? You do a good job at work, you get promoted. Like that is just the system that we're indoctrinated with. And that is not at all God's system. Like God is love and and he is about favor and grace and showing us um, love that we don't deserve and uh, and that has even permeated into the church into religion really not just not just Christianity but like look at any any religion and it's always going to be about here are the things you have to do to please God and I'm learning the more I study the Bible that that that's just not how that's not how the kingdom of God operates that's not how Jesus rolls I mean that's not how he is um, and I want to start with a with a verse that that says this um, the uh, the address of the verse or whatever it's it's in first John chapter 4 verse 10 but this is what it says it says in this is love not that we loved God but that he loved us and there's more to that scripture and we'll talk about that later but but I just wanted to start with this thought that man our 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 life in Christ our life in God and in, in Jesus, and what he wants for us is in this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us. First and foremost, he wants us to, to get a revelation of how much he loves us. When we find that out, when we really get a handle, I feel like I've only tasted the tip of the, just a little bit. <clears throat> When, the more that we get a revelation of his love for us, the more our natural response will be to love him. And like I said, so much of this world, it, it, it's programmed to, to speak to us to say, you got to do good, you got to do in order to, to deserve love. But right here in the Bible, in this verse that I read, I'm going to read it again, in this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us. That's what he wants uh, us to know. That's what he wants you to know. 
brother, is that he loves you. Man, God loves you in spite of all of our mistakes, in spite of your mistakes, in spite of your hurts, your hangups, your, your whatever, man. Of, of all of our junk, that is not he loves us. And so that's what I just wanted to start with. Well, if, if you're down, if you're going to watch these things, man, I'd love to make more. Um, in fact, I think I'm just going to make them anyway, whether you watch them or not, because I love you. And I just want to put them out there, and I hope you watch them. Um, but, uh, but that's what I wanted to start with, man. God loves you. And we're going to talk, talk about that more and more. Um, and I'm going, to, I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff in the scripture um, just to, to elaborate that. Because it's going to take time. It's going to take... Dude, I, like I said, I'm, I'm barely scratching the surface of this, this concept that dude, God loves me in spite of my performance, in spite of whether I do good or bad. And, and honestly, it takes faith. All right, I'm going I'm to cut it there because I, I, I want to get into more stuff on this. But I love you, brother. And uh, I hope you watch this. And God loves you, man. Later.